My name's Helen, I'm the Diddy Stitcher, my pronouns are she, her. It is Thursday the 16th of March, today it is cloudy, it's warmer than it has been, but I'm cold, like, can you see me like breaking out? I don't like the cold. Um, but it has brightened up since this morning, so I've left it till this afternoon to film, because I've got some better light over here um but yeah let's start as we do Ooh. um we'll pull a tarot card or I'll talk about last video's card it seemed to resonate with a lot of people um the six of swords like a lot of you and I I I said in my comments and my messages, like, I'm, I'm so sorry for whatever you're going through that resonated with you with that card, but you are not alone. Like, and you, you can get through it. It's gonna be okay. So I've shoveled already, and we're gonna see what's on top. Oh, Queen of Cups. This is me. This is how I see myself in tarot. Um, so we'll put her there. I'm also, we might be having a change um, of location from next video. Um, so we'll see what happens with all of this and my lighting. Um, but yeah, let's see what the Queen of Cups is telling us today. The loving, tender-hearted Queen of Cups is entirely in tune with how she feels, not just emotionally, but also intuitively. She trusts her gut and never ignores how situations or people make her feel. She is psychic and empathetic, which means she can easily read into other people's moods. Her sweet nature means she tends to be kind towards others. Compassion and gentleness are her nature, natural state of being. This card can symbolize a time when you must tune into your feelings. Are you aware of how situations are affecting you? Are you, or you may be ready to open up to someone, perhaps a romantic partner. It can also indicate nurturing others. Maybe you're taking care of a loved one or involved in work where you nurture others, such as a teacher or a nurse. Emotions are strong at this time. So yeah. Let me know if that one resonated with you. It does with me. Queen of Cups always does. It's all... It makes, it makes, it kind of brings it back to me to be like, you know, you do know. Trust your gut. Don't second guess yourself. You know what's going on. I like to talk myself out of things a lot, so there we go. That's um, that's our card for this week. What I'm loving, um, I haven't written anything down, and it's been you'll see. Like I feel like I've not got a lot to show, and it's been a weird two weeks since I last filmed. I haven't stitched on my large project at all. I feel like I haven't been downstairs because it's been cold. We've had some snow um, and really hard frosts. Um, and when it when it's like that, once little one goes to bed, I feel like I just want to be upstairs and close like close up downstairs. Um, and maybe come and sit up here and stitch or just lie in bed and I've got like a little puzzle book that I'm doing or watch some YouTube or scroll Instagram endless endlessly. Um, so I haven't been downstairs, I've been like hibernating in my little hamster corner kind of thing. Um, so I can't, I can't say that I've kind of done a lot in the last two weeks. Um, I 
I'm getting rid of more stuff, which is good. I've got like the last of the boxes of stuff of Anna's that we were keeping in the loft. Um, and slowly selling those things, but not, not as much as I had. Oh, well, before, so I got my Lowry. Okay, maybe that's, okay, come on, Helen. I got my Lowry. I got my second Lowry um, with all of the all of the stuff that I have um, gotten rid of. Um, so I ordered that when I had a little 20% off coupon. And, but I ordered, <laughs> I ordered the wrong like bracket, light bracket arm. So for those of you that, that don't know Lowry, they kind of have two different types, like a stainless steel one, which is a bit thicker and more expensive. And then like a silver coated one and all of the different colors of their stand are like this. So the diameter of the, like the, the L bar is different in the two. So you've got to buy the accessories to correspond with the the Lowry of your choice. So I didn't double check when I bought my um or put my bracket in my in the cart that it was for the stainless steel version. So too it was gonna be too big. It might have worked, I might have been able to tighten it, but it's just I can send it back, it's fine. But it was more expensive it was no, it was cheaper than the silver grey one, which I think is why I messed up. But also, I, it just made me think, like, if someone's packing that order and it's a silver grey Lowry with a stainless steel, like, I mean, somebody might buy that legitimately. They've got a different Lowry at home already. This is a second one. They're buying this bracket for a different one. But I maybe just uh, would have, emailed and said did you do this thing right or not because now I've got to send it back um so like packaging and fuel for it I know one package is not going to save the world but it was just like meh anyway loving my new Lowry um so I have it I have it set up um, and I stitched on it, I've stitched on it once. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's exactly the same as the one downstairs that used to be in the same spot. So it's just having another Larry's time. And now having not stitched on my other one for two weeks, I'm like, is it totally frivolous of me to have a second Larry? Which is not, I know, because this two weeks is just an anomaly and I will be stitching on both. A lot. Anyway, I'm waffling today. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Finishes. I have two. Oh, okay. So I have three because now I can finally talk about my secret stitching that I've been talking about for a couple of videos. Um, so I don't have it with me because it has been gifted and I was right to keep it a secret because apparently my cousin does watch these videos. So hi Anna if you're watching. Um, I finally gifted my, I'm going to put it here, da, 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 da. um, Otter Pups by Little, The Little Beach Hut on Etsy. I'd stitched this originally for my cousin when she had her first baby and she just had her second baby so I had to stitch it again with two little otter pups. Um, it was really fun to do, as always. Finished it up the same. I didn't have the exact same ribbon that I'd used on the first one, um, but something similar. Um, so now she has an updated version of that. So that was that's, I guess, my first finish that I can show you. Um, second finish was Cosmic Dreams by Barbara Anna. 
So finish this up and put it in this frame that I just had sitting around. And I really love the, the big mat and the, uh, it's just one of those Ikea ribber frames. Um, so it's in there, a piece of foam core board with black felt, double-sided sticky tape to it. The, the piece pinned in the sides and then the excess masking taped to the back of the foam core board and then that square of finish like pinned thing um masking tape to the back of the mat board and then just the frame as is so I can hear the um the masking tape slowly come apart so this is probably going to fall into into the bottom of this at some point um but I really like it and I finished it just for you it's been sat there um I think I finished it a few days after um my last filming and I hadn't fully finished it and I wanted to fully finish it before I showed it here. So this is, yeah, Barbara Ann, A Cosmic Dream on 28 count, um, even weave, navy blue, um, skin conversion. I stole off of Imogen, Imogen X Stitch, and cha like changed her top and the clouds and changed a lot. It was like stitching off the sun, but I didn't like that. But then I did, I left it off and I would have had to kind of extend this cloud. So I just put the back stitching on. So quite a lot of personalization on this one, but I'm very, very happy with it. Love it. So she'll go somewhere nice when we, if we um, reorganize the office. Um, and then the other one is a, a saffafo, a start and finished and fully finished. This is a Floss Boss by um, Jessica at The Needle and Floss. Um, I've had this for this chart for ages. So I had Cosmic Dreams. Um, on my little six by six key snap. I finished that. So looked at what else would fit on my six by six. There was like seven different projects that I could have started. Did a random number generator. This is the one that was called. Blocked out all of the ends of the bobbins while I was on a Zoom call. Then filled in all of those colours while I was watching Jessica on Twitch. Um, so this was a really, really quick saff. Um, so just finished it in a hoop. Stuck a bit of cardboard in there to butt it up. It's not pretty, but it's done. Um, yeah, so this is on 28 count linen. Um, the chart that she gives you, you can do it in this like kind of rounded way or I think you can put a few extra and it makes it like square if you want to frame it rather than hoop it. And I chose like a 12 color, I think like a 12 color rainbow palette. And this is not like the called for colors, but I wanted it to be like a full, a full, I guess not a rainbow, like a color wheel, like kind of it comes back on itself. And I'm pretty happy with all of those colors for being, it, for it being such a quick stitch. And I think it's cute, like, not that it's gonna, it's gonna, it'll go in, in amongst whatever, and it'll be cute. Um... So yeah, that's Floss Boss by The Needle and Floss. So three finishes to show you this week. Wow. That doesn't happen. Um, 
so yeah, didn't work on my Christmas Village, which is the Mill Hill one that I'm doing. Didn't work on that at all. So I'm going to keep that out um, until I do actual, do some work on it. Um, the next thing I worked on, I started working on. So again, my 6x6 Q snap was empty. So I needed to look at my Notion and see what I could do random number generator and it picked tiny paintings by Tom Katsumi on Instagram so these are free charts at the moment they're free charts I think you should sell them Tom um because they're really good <laughs> but to to give you an example so these are tiny paint, tiny versions of famous paintings. So this is the screen, but it's not cross stitched. It's back stitched, but I guess almost like black work. I don't know what, where the line is between back stitching and black work is. And this is not black work because there's a lot of colors. So, um, these are the, the six that he's done. So we've got scream, um, girl with pearl earring, Marilyn, Starry Night, Apple Dude. I don't remember who he is. I know the I know the painting. I don't remember who do it who did it. And then the Mona Lisa. Um. And just because they're they're called tiny paintings, I want it to be really extra and do them really tiny. Okay. Can you put that in there? So, this is what I've done so far. Um. So I kind of started with Scream. And there's like a few colors that are shared between them. So I've carried where I can. Um, and then all of these leftover threads are just so I can weave them in at the end. Because it's just back stitching. I'm gonna get up really close. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Because it's just back stitching, there isn't a lot to anchor your thread on when there's not a lot around it. So yeah, the actual, the actual chart is a little hard to follow because he talks about, he talked about it in, on his Instagram of developing this and it's like you have to design it and then turn it 45, not 45 degrees, like 22 and a half degrees. So each symbol becomes a line rather than a square. Once you get used to looking at that, it does get easy. But if you look at this, this is the color palette for just those six. I mean, that's all of them that he's done so far. And I think you should do more, Tom, and I think you should sell them. But that's 104, 109 different colors for a one and three quarters by two and a quarter inch thing. It's gonna be tiny, it's gonna be so cute. Like he has stitched them up and they look amazing on his, um, on his Instagram. So I'm really excited and, and you can all, you can, see in real life like how it's coming together so this is 20 count ada by the way but just black ada because that's what he's done it on and um it looks good so yeah so that stitching, I think it's taken me a couple of hours so far because it does take a while to get your heads around it and obviously the color changes and yeah. But yeah, really excited about that one. I've had that again for like a while. He put the free patterns on his Instagram. So if you scroll back on his Instagram, you'll be able to find the patterns. 
Um, <clears throat> but I've had them saved for quite a while, so I'm glad to be starting them. And then the last one I worked on, and it's not a huge amount, I just filled in this line of the text. This is Cross Patch by Pixel Pixie Stitch. X Pixel Pixie X Stitch. Um so I, I had I hadn't worked on any of my eight by eights because I was waiting for my new Lowry. So this is the one that I've um put on that and just just filled in this with the, the thread that was hanging. So I've got this to go back and use up this and then carry on with the rest of the pattern. So not a, not a huge lot on this. So I'll probably keep this one out as well for next rotation and get some good progress on it before putting it away. So that was my whips and haul. So I've got a little bit. Let's get my little basket of goodies. Okay, so first of all, last Sunday, um, me and my mum went to Rebel Makers, Rebel Crafts, Rebel Crafts Market at the boiler shop in Newcastle, run by um, Amy of Hello Treacle and Sophie, uh, Sophie Sews. Shoot, 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 wait. So Sophie Craft. Um, amazing market, amazing makers, such good, so much fuck the Tories, so much body positivity, so much pride. It was just, I can't wait for the next one. Um, met so many new makers as well, as some, this was just nice to see again. Um, so yeah, so mum got a few um, embroidery squares from Hello Treacle and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put them in a hoop and she can put them in on her wall or whatever she wants to do. We're not actually gonna embroider them because um, I can't do that, but she just liked the the artwork, which I think is just amazing. Um, she also got a, a vase and a little, like a trinket tray from an amazing ceramic artist um, called Eden, Eden, Eden Sketchbook. I'll link below if you want to have a look because these are just amazing people. I met Flutter and Fern. Um, hadn't met them before. Loved them. Saw this, what I thought was a pin because they had lots of pins. And I said, oh, that is gorgeous in an embroidery hoop. It's got leaves. It's got moons. I want it. And then she said, oh, it's a needle minder. And I was like, I have to have this. Because obviously like... I look at pins and I'm like, I can snip the back of that and glue a magnet on. She's already done it. So I haven't actually, it's still in its thing because I wanted to show you. Um, so I haven't used it yet, but let's open it. So this is Joanne Palmer of Flutter and Fern. Um, I think she's in Carlisle. Um, so yeah. It's like a nice enamel one. It's like rose gold. So it's like a, a badge without a pin and then a magnet to just go on the back. So I don't know how magnetic. I've got a needle here. Let's have a look. Ooh. Yeah, it kind of wants to find the back of the magnet. But that's good. I mean, it's not going anywhere. And how pretty is that? Just how pretty. She had another design that was, that was a needle minder already. 
And then she had tons of other pins. And I followed her on Instagram and she's just the most amazing designer. Um, beautiful, beautiful stuff. So yeah, that's Flutter and Fern. Uh, paper Chase. I think all Paper Chases are closing. So they had a sale. So I got some ribbons just for finishing. So these are like cotton cotton ribbons just to throw in my um my finishing thing and then these awesome pom-poms and I think I think this will be great for my let's make a statement banner because Dee's already coming out with the second one I'm so excited but I just thought that's that's as good as anything to um don't know how it works, don't know what it's going to be, but I just feel like that's, we need some pom-poms on there. Anyway, that was that. Megan, Stitching Moon, um, so I had sent her some things that she had ordered from UK businesses and sent to me and then I sent it all to her in a package so it would be easier to get to her and she wouldn't have to pay exorbitant shipping fees or customs fees and she didn't have to but she sent me a little a little thank you so there's a little card and it's just lovely and this little permin kit which is just so Norwegian it's not true um so it's like a Christmas card I guess and so it's got the Ada and the thing. So cute. And then I'm excited to show you this because now it means I get to eat it now. She sent me this chocolate and she says it's her favourite chocolate. So, and I'm a chocolate girl, so. Um, the baby is out tonight. So me and my husband are going to eat that after dinner. And then finally, just as I was about to film, the postman came to the door and dropped off this. Um, this was on a D stash, and it's not my usual thing <laughs> to do flower fairies, but it's so nostalgic. Um, I stitched a DMC kit of the lavender fairy and the snowdrop fairy, I think. Um, they were more detailed than these are, but I figure I can do them like double and over one to be a bit more detailed. Um, if I want to, I just, I love it. So it comes, so there's like tons of different designs and you can like double them up like they have here and then on the back like you can do the, the lavender fairy like in mirror image and gives you a a font to do personalizations or whatever but yeah that was just very nostalgic of my 90s childhood of flower fairies um don't know when I'll do that, if I'll do that, but I just kind of have to have it. Um, so yeah, that's haul. And then plans, I guess do the plans that I said I was going to do last video, which I haven't done yet. Um, so that's, that's my Mill Hill Christmas, um, Mill Hill Christmas Village. My big project, my mill project, cross patch, um, my little project, tiny paintings. That's my plans. Um, uh, I feel like I've whizzed through that, but I haven't, yeah, I haven't done a lot of stitching. And I'm cold. So I'm gonna go and get under a blanket. Um... But yeah, listen to your intuition. And I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.